Hello and welcome. You are watching SSBC News live from Juba. I'm Aul Polnan and other news in details. President Kiel switched on the electric system that supplies power to residents of Juba City on Thursday morning. The electricity is being generated from a new power plant located outside Juba. As Tech Steven reports, the electricity project is expected to boost investment and promote business in the country, starting with the capital. The Ministry of Energy and Dam has launched the commissioning of this new power plant, which is starting at phase one of about 30 megawatts, which is expected to address the sh power shortage in the city of Juba. Upon its completion in its fourth phase, which is in about two years, is expected to generate about 100 megawatts. The government has launched the commissioning of Ezra Power Plant and Juba Power Distribution System Rehabilitation and Expansion in Mangala County of Jubek State. In his address at the site, President of the Republic, Salfakir Mayardit, emphasized his government's commitment to restore permanent peace and increase developmental activities across the country. President Kir also thanked Africa Development Bank for funding the rehabilitation, expansion and distribution system of electricity. President Kir also thanked Ezra Group of Companies for trusting their investments in South Sudan. I want to thank the African Development Bank for funding the power distribution project I also want to appreciate the Israel group for taking such a huge risk by making a huge investment in a difficult environment and in turbulent economic times. Lastly, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the citizens of the Republic of South Sudan for their patience and cooperation during these difficult times. With today's commissioning of this power plant, we are designed for a prosperous future. The Minister of Energy and Dams, Dr. Dhiu Mathok, said the commissioning of this project is just about the beginning as more programs to boost electricity are lined up, including border electrification project in Numile, Kaya and Kajukeji electrification of estates through solar and alternative energy, as well as construction of hydro power plant in Fuller Rapids. The first phase of this project will finish before the end of this year, and the African Development Bank agreed to undertake the second phase to expand the network to read out every house in Cuba and its surrounding villages. Apart from the Cuba projects, last month the ministry and the government of Uganda launched the border electrification for the towns of Numuli and Kaya, and this project is expected to finish in seven months' time. The ministry, through public private partnership, signed a contract with the national private government for NAIL in implementation and control engineering system, NICE, to operate both power plant. As I speak, both power station is serving the people of the town of electricity. On his part, the governor of Jubek State, Agostino Jadallawani, thank the local communities for heeding the government's call for development and offering their land for construction of the project. I would like to express my sincere thanks to His Excellency General Salva Kilmayardit, President of the Republic of South Sudan, for his personal attention, for ensuring that I should approach the community for this project to be installed in this area of Wunyoko and Bajur of Bilinyang Payam, Mangala County. The representative of ISRA group of companies, Meron Tekie, stressed his company's commitment to continue with the next phase of construction to attain the 100 megawatts to boost business and development across the country. Similar appreciations were also echoed by the general manager of Power China, Wang Chun, whose company is involved in distribution project. While the country manager for Africa Development Bank, Benedict Sorie, whose institution has funded the project at a tune of 38 million US dollars. Your Excellency, I'd like to bring to your attention, in a true pioneering spirit, the group, Ezra Group, 
has been willing and is willing to invest in this project without any guarantees, without demanding any guarantees from the government. The project is also, I'd like to, I'd like to emphasize that this project is also solely financed by, by, by Ezra Group. Today, with the start of Juba Power Distribution Network, I believe Juba Power Distribution System Rehabilitation and Expansion Project can be extended to other cities and the states. Uses and is dependent on the African Development Bank financed Juba Power Distribution System and Expansion Project, which is financed by the African Development Bank to the tune of $38 million. According to the World Bank report, only 1% of the population in South Sudan has access to electricity. With this launch of new power plant capable of generating 30 megawatts and with the rehabilitation of the transmission and distribution system, the number of power users in South Sudan is expected to rise tremendously. Reporting for SSBC, Tech Steven. Residents of Mangala County in Jubek State have called on the government to extend the newly launched power system to their areas. The residents spoke during the launch of the 33 megawatts power plant at the outskirts of Juba on Thursday. In response, the Minister of Electricity and Dams, Stefan Dion Matok, said this, this was just the first phase of... By just a mere button press, power was in Juba City. Ezra Power Plant is said will supply 24-7 our power to Juba City. The plant currently running six engines is expected to produce 33 megawatts in its first phase. We expect this project to impact the citizens of Juba in only positive ways and only positive ways. Of course, obviously, I mean, uh, if you have power running 24 hours, seven days a week, uh, investors are willing to invest. And I believe that uh, the Ezra power plant will provide more power and uh, supply this power through this distribution network. For this distribution network, we can carry capacity up to 100 megawatts. So it is uh, not a problem. So it depends on how much capacity the generators can generate the power. This initiative, according to the ministers, is geared towards electrification of most parts of the country. The 38 million US dollar project is a direct support from African Development Bank to South Sudan projects channeled on power supply to various households in the country. Because of many projects which could not be realized, you know, there are a lot of challenges attached to the implementation of the project. It is very easy to, pl uh, to plan, but to implement the plan, you, c you face a lot of challenges. One of them, is funding the project, another is supervising the project, another is coordinating the project. So all these challenges sometimes make the projects to fail. I thank God that we have overcome them because I have a very dedicated team in the Ministry of Energy and Dam and in South Sudan Electricity Corporation and those companies who are working with us. realization of the promises of the SPLM to the people to provide service to the people. And uh, power is one of the key services yes. because it has impact on the life of everybody. With electricity in Juba, uh, the people will be able, first of all, uh, children will be able to, to study yes. at night. Uh, small business people, even um, cottage industry can, can, can flourish because um, women or small business people can be able to use electricity to earn a living for them for themselves. So, one, we are bringing in the national grid. And through the national grid, we are going to drive private business. We are going to ensure that small businesses can start to nurture themselves and grow. In the process, we are talking about employment for the youth, the women, and others. So it's going to reduce a burden on the government with, our, with regard to labor employment. Also, there are tax elements. Government to realize more taxes. So in a nutshell, we are making sure what which was not there before is being put together thanks to this project because it's making power available. The power plant located in Mangal County of Jibek State runs through wires to Juba city center. However, the residents of Mangala County also demand for their share of the power cables as a host community's benefit. Our message to the uh, company of Yezra 
Uh, we need really power to be located to our community because it helps us in the security. وطنيا دان دين عيا من ترفيهيات بتاعت التنمية في البلد يعني بوفر على المجالات بتاعت عمل على مستوى بتاعت جنوب السودان وعلى مستوى بتاعت على مانجلا كاونتي ولا بلينيام فايام حد ما يصل إلى البومة بتاعتنا اللي هو قربه ورجفه People of Mangala County is a people is near uh, development uh, is a good people, is a peaceful people uh, now when the Israelites come here, it's not refused to give the Israel this land. Uh, we've been doing uh, dismantle work, and also we've been doing stream work. And right now, we are doing uh, meters, meter book. We're installing into the houses. As a power plant, power production target is to reach over 100 megawatts in the next four years. Completely relying on fuel, this initiative marks the second power plant established in Juba City to supply Juba City with electricity. James Arusi, SSBC, Juba. South African government has urged parties to the agreement to address the remaining critical issues within 100 days. The visiting South African Deputy President David Mabuza was speaking in a meeting with President Kiir at the State House in Juba. Reporter Ajomarang has more on this story.